Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. On December 3, 2024, China once again released a blockbuster news. In principle, it will no longer export key metal elements such as gallium, germanium, and antimony to the United States. This decision immediately attracted global attention, especially in many high-tech fields such as semiconductors, military, and energy. The importance of these metals is self-evident. For China, restricting the export of these metals is not only a means of exerting economic pressure on the United States, but also a strategic move to make a far-reaching layout of the global resource pattern. Gallium is the heart of the electronics industry. Although gallium is extremely rare in the Earth's crust, about 0.0015%, it plays a pivotal role in modern science and technology. Gallium is not only the basis of second-generation semiconductor materials, such as gallium arsenide, gallium nitride, etc., but also its application in optoelectronic devices, LEDs, solar energy, infrared equipment and other fields is indispensable. Especially in the semiconductor industry, the use of gallium has increased the power of mobile phone chargers from the traditional 5W to 200W, realizing ultra-fast charging technology. Even in the military field, the core components of high-performance radar systems and fighter jets also rely on the unique properties of gallium. At present, the global gallium supply chain is highly dependent on China. China not only has the world's largest reserves, about 190,000 tons, accounting for 68% of the world, but also occupies a dominant position in the world's gallium production, about 90%. The United States' gallium reserves are pitifully small, only about 2% of the world's. Therefore, China's restriction on the export of gallium will undoubtedly greatly affect the development of the United States in the high-tech field, especially in the application of semiconductors and military technology. Germanium is a key material that is everywhere. Germanium, a rare metal, is mainly used in optical fiber, solar panels, infrared technology and military equipment. Especially in optical fiber communications, the addition of germanium greatly improves the efficiency of signal transmission and is widely used in global communication networks. In the military field, germanium is often used to manufacture high-tech equipment such as infrared imaging equipment and missile guidance systems. Although the United States leads in germanium reserves, about 23% of the world, China is in an absolute dominant position in the production and export of germanium. China's germanium production accounts for 73% of the world's total, and the control of this resource allows China to occupy an important position in the global high-tech industry. Restricting the export of germanium is undoubtedly a strategic constraint on the United States in the fields of global communications, military and other fields. Antimony is a key, invisible role in military technology. Antimony, as a special metal, is widely used in military equipment, especially in weapons such as infrared-guided missiles and artillery shells. Antimony has excellent infrared sensing capabilities, so antimony is one of the indispensable core materials in missile guidance systems. In addition, antimony is also widely used in batteries, flame retardants and other fields. China occupies a global leading position in antimony reserves and production, and about 22% of the world's antimony reserves are in China's hands. Although the United States also has antimony reserves, its reserves are only about 3% of the world's total, which is far from meeting its huge military needs. Restricting the export of antimony will directly affect the United States' technological development in the military field, especially for the production and updating of advanced weapon systems. Why choose to restrict the export of these metals? China's series of measures seem to be an economic countermeasure against the United States on the surface but behind them are deeper strategic considerations. First of all, restricting the export of these resources can effectively protect China's limited metal resources. 
Resources are not inexhaustible, especially strategic rare metals such as gallium, germanium, and antimony. If they are overmined, they will inevitably face the risk of resource depletion in the future. Therefore, appropriate export restrictions can effectively slow down the rate of resource consumption and ensure the needs of domestic long-term development. Secondly, restricting the export of these metals directly targets the technological advantages of the United States in the high-tech and military fields. The United States relies on the world's leading semiconductor technology and advanced military equipment to maintain its superpower status, and these metals play an irreplaceable role in its high-tech industrial chain. China's move is not only a counterattack against the US technology blockade, but also an important step to enhance its global voice. Is this revenge or great power game? In fact, China's restriction on the export of gallium, germanium, antimony and other metals to the United States is not only because of the grudges between the two countries, the deeper level is the embodiment of great power game. In recent years, the United States has suppressed China through a series of technological wars and trade wars, especially in the field of semiconductor technology, aiming to curb the pace of China's technological rise. China's response to this is not only a counterattack, but also a more complex international game with resources as leverage. In addition, this move is also closely related to China's global resource strategy. In recent years, China has been committed to improving its own resource security, reducing external dependence, and ensuring that it can control the global supply chain at critical moments. By restricting metal exports to the United States, China has undoubtedly taken the initiative in the global resource competition. China's restrictions on the export of metals such as gallium, germanium, and antimony to the United States will have an impact far beyond the value of these metals themselves. From the perspective of the global strategic landscape, this decision is not only a constraint on the development of American science and technology and military, but also shows the world China's strong voice in resource competition. As global economic competition intensifies, the game in the fields of resources, technology, and military will become more and more fierce. Through this move, China has sent a strong message to the world. On the stage of global science and technology and resource competition, China is not only a participant, but also a dominant player in determining the rules. In future international competition, China's strategic vision and action will become an important driving force for its rise.